Hi everyone, welcome to the Learn in Lab series of C programming. I am Varun and today we would like to discuss on the formatted function available for console output operation followed by discussing the escape sequ sequences available in C language. Let's have a look on essential functions of computer program. Reading, processing and writing of data are the three essential functions of the computer program. Most programs take some data as input and display the processed data often known as instruction or results or on a suitable medium. In our case that medium is monitor. Our initial approach is to get familiar with the how to show the data or write the data onto the screen that is we are focusing on the writing function initially. Let's recall this syntax of printf function discussed in our previous session and we also know that this function is used to write the output on the console window. The syntax is printf parenthesis start within the double quotes enter the message you would like to print double quotes end then parenthesis close then semicolon. This is the complete C statement to print the entered message, message onto the console output on the onto the or onto the console window as the example shown over here for the output of this this particular printf statement before moving to further let's perform an exercise exercise is write a c program to print the text on the screen or the monitor as shown across over here desired output in first line you are watching learn in lab series c programming playlist then in second line source of watching is YouTube available on channel Mackie Inside. This is the particular sample for the required console output, which would help you to understand the problem statement. Now pause the video and try to perform the exercise by using knowledge acquired till date. I am sure many of the viewers following the playlist would attempt like this and we also get the output of the following pro program like this. But if we compare the required and acquired console output, we see there is something else is also required in the C program in order to get the required console output as acquired is not a desired result. Now the question is how to acquire the required console output. For the solution, let me introduce the term escape sequences. These are actually non-printing control characters that begin with a backslash. The following escape sequences are used to perform the specific operation in a console window or in the console output. First escape sequence is backslash. This particular special character is known as backslash which is available in every keyboard just above the enter key. Backslash then lowercase n. The operation performed by this escape sequence is new line. Then backslash T would perform the operation of horizontal tab. Backslash A it is a bell alert. Backslash B it is a backspace. Backslash R it is a carriage return. Double backslash it is for the for printing the backslash itself. So yes we are done with the escape sequences. But the question is how to use and where to use these escape sequences or how this is going to solve our problem. Let's have a look on the commonly using of some of these escape sequences through various examples. Consider these are only printf statements available in the main function. The console output of the write instruction for every case are shown. You can here get the answer to the question of where we get place the escape sequences is within the double quotes wherever it is required. Like in our case initially we place the new lines escape sequence that is backslash n is placed at the end of the first statement like this and secondly we place the same but at the beginning of the second statement that is backslash n but at the beginning of the second statement and thirdly we place the new line character or new lines escape sequence in between the sentence placed in the double quotes. But the output we saw is same in all the cases basically this is the way we get the new instruction printed on new line in console outputs. These all three cases are represents the use of new line escape sequence. Now next is the use of backslash t that is the horizontal tab. 
how it is used the again the instructions are given and the console window is shown for this particular instructions when these are executed initially it is placed at the end of the first statement and then the output is shown as this particular thing we get a tab between both the sentences or both the statements then in the second case we will place the backslash t in between the sentences or in between the single sentence then we can also get the same result so it's all up to you how you want to use this particular escape sequence in your work then we also have a use of bell alert or we have a backslash a the statements where you want to give the warnings or where you want to ask something from the user you can use this particular escape sequence it will create a bell alert and it is usually placed at the end of the statement so now we can solve our exercise from where we start the solution to exercise problem is this that we would like to place the backslash n or the new line escape sequence at the end of the first statement or as per your choice you can also choose at the beginning of the second statement then we get the required console output which is desired and which is aimed to be achieved now let's have a look on another example we would like to print the small table exercise is like write a c program to print the tabular content on the screen or monitor the table is given across their material and then material type material is mercury the material type of material is metal bromine the type of material is non metal pause the video and try to perform the exercise by using the knowledge acquired till date the solution is initially we just declare the documentation section then preprocessor directive then main function then within the curly brackets we would place the printf statements in the printf statements here it is an important thing to learn from this particular table making exercise what's important in this tabular data printing is the planning of printf statements see whenever you would like to print the tables like this always use printf statement for a complete row you have to keep this thing in a mind while you are working with the tabular data outputs and this is the console output get from this particular program here we use the escape sequence of horizontal tab and the new line escape sequence horizontal tabs is used to create a space between two column headings or two table headers or we can also use for the spacing between the table contents you can try by your own if column wise printing is possible or not now finally the exercise is for you people which is also mentioned in our published book you can use the collective learning from this session and previous session to write the c program for this particular exercise the console output for your reference is shown here i'm sure when you write this pro this particular program you can also face the problem of console output showing the results like this particular thing like the mismanagement of space you are putting the this particular line in a single statement but it it should be wrapped up due to the space width so for this thing just right click on the tab of the console window then select properties then in the layout you should have to change the window size in the width column here you can give 150 then click on okay then your width of console window is changed now close this console window again run the program now you can see how the things are managed thank you for watching for more videos do subscribe my channel mackie inside